The automatic coupler with electrical head is provided on both M cars and serves to couple the two M cars, both mechanically and electrically. They are also called intermediate automatic couplers with electrical heads. The intermediate automatic coupler has two couplers. The mechanical coupler and the electrical coupler. The electrical coupler or the electrical head has the following parts. The electrical coupler has a flexible protective cover that slides and opens automatically during coupling and closes automatically when the coupler comes backwards during uncoupling. The electrical head has several contacts on its face. Both the mobile contacts and the fixed contacts. The electrical head has two centering rods. They help to align the heads during coupling. The electrical head has a centering pin and a centering bush that press and slide into each other during coupling. The electrical head operating gear is located on the coupler head. The electric head operating gear moves the electrical heads forward and backwards during coupling and uncoupling. The operating gear consists of guiding elements and a pneumatic cylinder. The pneumatic cylinder is fed with compressed air of the main reservoir pipe. This is the gangway interface of the coupler. The coupler is able to support the gangway and bear the load of 8 people per square meter, that is 65 kg per person. The pneumatic unit. The pneumatic unit houses the 5 by 2 way magnet valve that directs the compressed air into the pneumatic cylinder which moves and holds the electric head during coupling uncoupling and ready to couple situations. This is the electrical terminal box. The parts of the mechanical coupler are the same as the front automatic coupler. The coupler head. Coupling and uncoupling function of the coupler is performed by the coupler head 330 which is provided with a status indicator to check proper coupling. The coupler head consists of the coupler head face, male cone, female cone. The male and the female cones act as sliding and centering surfaces while coupling and uncoupling. Coupler head casing, coupler link, coupler link pin, tension spring, hooked plate, hooked plate recess. And central pivot, the coupler link, hooked plate, central pivot and the tension spring form the coupler lock that locks and unlocks during coupling and uncoupling. The manual uncoupling device is located at the central pivot and consists of an uncoupling rope handle. The coupler can be uncoupled manually with the manual uncoupling device. The coupler head is provided with a status indicator that indicates the status of the coupler lock. Position A indicates coupled. Position B indicates the uncoupled position. The sensor. The sensor senses the coupled 
for the uncoupled status of the coupler and transmits the same to the TCMS. Pneumatic uncoupled cylinder Pneumatic uncoupled cylinder is located in the coupler head casing. As soon as the driver gives the uncouple command, the uncoupled device rotates the coupler lock from the coupled position to uncoupled position via the pneumatic uncoupled cylinder. Coupler shank with buffer. Coupler shank consists of the friction spring and the gas hydraulic damper. The damper is set to manage the predefined impact force range. Within this range, the coupler shank responds in a predefined manner to the impact. If the impact is more than predefined limit, the excessive impact is managed by compressing and overflowing of the gas and hydraulic media. After the impact, the coupler shank returns to its normal position. The muff coupling The front end of the coupler shank has the muff coupling collar. Bearing bracket with vertical support. The bearing bracket connects the coupler and the vehicle. The bearing bracket transmits the draft and the buff loads into the car under frame. The bearing bracket is connected to the coupler shank by a pivot that allows the horizontal movements of the coupler shank. The coupler shank is supported by a rubber spring that is connected to the bearing bracket via a support. The spring has adjusting nuts and bolts that allows vertical adjustments or inclination of the coupler. The centering device holds the coupler in line with the longitudinal axis of the vehicle and prevents the coupler from swiveling beyond its predefined range. Air pipe connections. There are two air pipe connections located on the coupler face. While coupling, the mouthpieces of both the air pipe connections are tightly pressed against each other. At this time, the valve tappet inside pushes backwards and opens the air pipe connections. While the couplers are coupled, the valve keeps the air pipe open. Earth wires, 